So let's start with what is known at the moment about this terrorist act. Well, first and foremost, it is nothing but a terrorist act. Secondly, it has been done by Russian occupiers. On the morning of June 6th, they detonated explosives planted in the dam of Kachovska hydroelectric power plant. As a result, huge areas, that is more than 80 settlements and villages in some districts of Kherson in particular, were literally flooded, washed away, or damaged severely. In areas damaged the most are those at the low-lying left bank of Dnipro, which is Ukrainian territory under Russian occupation. Last fall, we had information that the occupiers had mined the dam of the Kachovka hydroelectric power plant. They did it intentionally. First, to blackmail the world. Second, to blow up the dam and use the flood as a weapon. This is exactly what happened. The flood zone includes areas where more than 100,000 people lived before the war. Now, at least tens of thousands of people remain there. The Kachovka Reservoir provided drinking water to a huge part of Ukraine, cities and villages with hundreds of thousands of people. It also supplied water to farmers for agricultural production in the south and center of Ukraine. Moreover, the destruction of the dam and the reservoir is a man-made strike on the environment, after which nature will have to recover for decades. The motives are clear and transparent as daylight. With this brutal act, Russia was desperately trying to defend previously occupied Ukrainian territories from our counteroffensive, the upcoming counteroffensive. Like they might say, it was whatever they say it was. First, Kremlin's hasty version was that the dam was too old. Then, in hours, they came up with another idea that it was a Ukrainian special military operation, kind of a bit way too suicidal, if you ask me. But suicidal looks just fine for the Kremlin, so they say we did it. In a couple of hours, they're coming up with another version of the Kremlin's augmented reality. The dam has been destroyed during an air raid and the upcoming shellings. I mean, the dam was built after World War II and has a very solid construction safety margin. It was built specifically so that nothing happens to it during the air raids and nothing happened to it until Russians came and blew it all up, blaming as usual everyone else, like nature. My question to you, all these absurd things and the versions that, that, that Kremlin is coming up to, could it be the reason that the primary agenda of the war, the battlefield, is somehow switched to a secondary agenda, that these Kremlinites are just fighting for power, struggling under the carpets for the power, and they really don't care what is going on in the battlefield? Could that be the case? Uh, absolutely. I really cannot comment uh, the political uh, part of this story and the decision made, especially by Russians, which are uh, far from usual and normal uh, logic. That's why I uh, would rather talk more about environmental impacts and results of what's happening. But when uh, we talk about the reasons of this uh, um, really unbelievable crime, uh, that's uh, really hard to, to understand the logic behind. Talking about the terrible consequences about the na on, on the nature and the impact on the... Let's leave the political thing behind it. Let's talk about the unbelievable, disasterful um, impact on the nature and people. What's to expect? Because it's coming on. We, we, we really don't know what the impact is, do we? Yeah, that's true. Uh, the, the impact is uh, definitely enormous and uh, moreover we cannot evaluate what the impact is now. And still, as we hear everywhere about environmental crime and environmental uh, catastrophe, I would rather call it social and human catastrophe because uh, comparing the impacts on people's life, uh, infrastructure, um, uh, and future of the community also in the south of Ukraine. All these comparing to the impact of nature, even though it, it's uh, really dramatic, but the nature will be restored in uh, months, years, decades, but it will be destroyed, by, uh, restored. While uh, life of people is definitely um, civil people impacted so much that um, 
we should say that um, yeah, starting from uh, migration of population from that uh, region and uh, to um, loss of lives uh, in future, that, that's all uh, what should be expected now. Um, when coming back to uh, actually environmental component, and it's still environment covers different sectors, starting from the energy security, food security of Ukraine and uh, region, all that is impacted now. And the results could be more precisely evaluated, I think, after the water will go down, we will see the destructions in, in, uh, on the fields, on the site. And still, I'm absolutely sure that even uh, next uh, year, the agricultural season in the southern oblast of Ukraine would be very, very different and most probably will not be effective anymore. In terms of one of the biggest issues at the moment, as far as I see, the fresh water, it looks like, I understand, the wells are not, look, could be polluted and it's simply uh, impossible to get fresh water there. What people are left with, what options they are left to, what they're going to do. And we can't help them, obviously, because the Russians are doing everything to not allow us to, to um, uh, turn this ecocide into, into to, you know, to mold the ecocide and genocide together. This is literally what the Kremlin is doing right now. How can we be of help? Uh, so, if uh, we, we look at the territories below uh, the dam, which are now heavily flooded, definitely this polluted and uh, polluted and dirty water also entering wells. Wells which are used by people as a, uh, in the rural areas as a water sources. And now this uh, river water is there. So it's clear that as soon as the water will go down, these wells cannot be used as a safe drinking water source. The alternative is the other water supply with the water which is uh, to be brought from other areas. And until, until there is uh, analysis are done for these uh, wells, for, for water sources, stating that they are already clean and safe. Uh, local people cannot use uh, this water for drinking. But um, I, I should uh, maybe mention a bit broader picture because we are talking not only about do, yes. the uh, drinking water, that's just a small part of the story. If we look, uh, uh, we, we should definitely look separately upstream and downstream uh, the, the dam. So now more, more people are looking downstream because the catastrophe now is there and uh, uh, huge areas and, and I've seen the calculations that the ecosystems and areas are affected uh, around 4,000 square kilometers just below the dam. And all these areas uh, uh, are have infrastructure destroyed, but also the ecosystems and nature and animals, all these uh, Mm, uh, is affected. The good news that the water will go down and already I've heard that the top levels are already reached. So the, it will be already um, going down next two days, maybe or, or week. And um, people will um, have a possibility to come back to those uh, houses which are not totally ruined, but still uh, definitely a lot of uh, work to be done. But a part of this infrastructure part, we have a pollution part, because when this huge amount of water was going down, it brought uh, the pollutants like uh, the, the oils and fuels from uh, hydropower station itself. Then uh, there is information about uh, petrol stations being flooded. So these uh, fuel are also in the water at some areas or could be in the water. Plus agricultural chemical storage houses are also flooded. So all the chemicals has a, all chances to be in that water. 
and not talking about sewage waters, water cleaning stations, all this is destroyed. So most probably this water brings not just soil or, or, or sand, uh, but uh, also all these chemicals interacting with drinking water sources with ecosystems and then uh, find, finding their way to Black Sea. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure that it will be years uh, until the, this impact will disappear or, or be, will be minimized. So the, this impact on, uh, on marine areas from plankton to the uh, dolphins and other big mammals uh, still to be uh, evaluated. <laughs>